everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm warming up the car right now because, or the truck rather, because I am going to go thrifting. And I have been wanting to go thrifting for a while because I need to get some home decor stuff and I might want to see if I could find some jeans because I do have a little hole in my wardrobe. I would like to thrift for it first, but jeans are just one of those things that I don't know how to make yet, so I still buy them. A lot of my other clothes I do know how to make, so you know I don't do a lot of shopping anymore. And also I just have everything I need clothing wise, you know what I mean? So anyway, I do have a little hole for jeans. I would like to find perhaps some like straight leg jeans because that's like the new style now, like skinny jeans are out apparently. My camera is moving. Can you guys see that? I don't want to make anyone sick. Other than that, just like home decor, if I could find any, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I'm keeping it open-ended on home decor and jeans. Oh, also the second thing that I want to look for, or rather, I think like the third thing on my list now, is blankets or our blankets or curtains. If I could find like a quilt or something that isn't like in perfect shape, that I wouldn't feel guilty cutting up to be a jacket and I would love if it would be a quilt but obviously I don't want to cut into like a good quilt so if it has like holes or is stained or something like that then I will but those are really the only circumstances that I would do that good stuff at that place I'm going to do like a full haul after everything and like after I get home but um yeah sorry the air is definitely on it's cold 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 uh, I think it's like three degrees outside right now I'm not even kidding so let's head over to the next place lot of really nice furniture like really well priced furniture and they had a big like sewing section that I was not expecting to find but there wasn't that much good stuff in there however I did find two things one I did find some curtains that will definitely work hopefully they're long enough if they're not long enough I'll just turn it into something else and use the fabric um, and then I found like another sheet set which I love to thrift sheet sets for making clothes Alright, 
thrifting has finished and that last place honestly felt more like a thrift store than like any of the other places I've, I went today. I mean, they all felt like thrift stores, but that one felt the most familiar and like the thrift stores at home. And I didn't look through the clothes this time actually like I thought I would. I just kind of am hungry and wanted to focus more on home decor. So the jeans conversation, we will revisit. Um, although I might just buy new jeans. The last like four pairs of jeans that I've purchased were all thrifted. Um, so I might try to find something elsewhere. But anyway, we're going to do a haul when I get home. But first, I'm going to stop at a restaurant that I really, really love. It is the only authentic, like true authentic Mexican food restaurant that I have been able to find here. It's called Tortilleria El Patron. I'm going to get a burrito, maybe two burritos. So I have one like for tomorrow and also get Daniel something probably. So, okay, um, I'll see you there. <laughs> Okay, so we are back home now and I'm sitting on my little piano bench here and I'm going to show you all the things that I got. So the first thing at the first place I found are these little, like this little sheet set. Well, actually, no, it's just one fitted sheet and it looks like this and it was, I believe, $2. Yes, $2. So if you're a beginning sewist, sheets and curtains are a really great thing to use if you're trying to learn how to sew and you don't want to go and buy expensive fabric to do so. So usually you can find like cute little florals and this actually has no stains on it and it is looks like a twin size sheet. So definitely could get like a dress or like absolutely 100% could get a shirt out of this. So I just thought the floral was really cute. Um, it would be cute like as a lining of something too. But yeah, I love to use this to practice new patterns on. And then if it turns out, obviously I can wear the dress because it has the cute fabric. And it honestly would not be a thrift haul with me if I didn't come home with some baskets. We know that in my previous home, I had a basket wall and I am definitely going to be doing a basket wall in this house because I have so many baskets and I still really love the way that that looks like a bunch of baskets on a wall. I actually want to do a basket wall on this wall over here, this opposite wall, um, right above the bed frame in this room. So I found this one and I just, I love the open space in here. And I love that it doesn't look like just like a traditional basket. I mean, it's pretty flimsy. I would never use this as like a basket and this one has that same like delicate weave look and I just love it I like I just think it looks so cool especially when they have like a fun design on the bottom it just looks really nice hung up on a wall and the last thing that I got from that thrift store is this Himalayan salt lamp and honestly I am like shaken up that I found this for such a good price I used to work at a place that would sell these and they were very expensive and this was $10 and it works. So that's really, really cool. And I'm super excited to like put it in my house. Like I'm, I'm thinking my bedside table eventually when I have one, cause I currently don't have one. I love the wood base color. Okay, the next place that I went is more of a store that focuses on furniture, like larger pieces, but they did have like a large section in the back that did fabric and things like that. So I found this sheet set for $4 and it's a twin and yeah, it is a matching sheet set. So let's look at it. I didn't actually unfurl it in there, but it is just so beautiful. So obviously this is the edge. And if I was to use this like for a dress, for example, I would make this the bottom hem and then this would be like the top. That is so cute. I love this, love this, love this. And then the next thing I got these really nice thick white curtains. It's two panels of this thick cotton material. And I thought that the stitching was actually like really cool. I don't know if you can see that because it's white stitching on white fabric, but it has like parallel line, parallel line stitching. So anyway, I'm hoping that this might work for my kitchen because I remember talking about like a couple months ago how I wanted to add curtains in there. And I don't, I don't know if this will be enough, but I'm thinking that I could use these two sheets maybe on the ends and then just like pull them in whenever I need them and they don't need to completely cover the window. It could be more like stylistic to be on the ends and then when I actually need them, I can just pull them to where the sun is. But yeah, I got two panels of this. They're from JCPenney's original, 
originally and they're 100 percent cotton so i thought that was a really great deal they were four dollars per panel so they're definitely not like a full length window panel they have to be a short window so i do have a short window that i could use them on so i'm hoping that that'll be okay and i'm really surprised that i found these like honestly i i was gonna buy them whether they fit my kitchen or not because this is a great fabric to use like for bags or something like that but hopefully it works out for my kitchen i just need to buy a long enough curtain rod because that window is so big it's a huge picture window so i need to make sure that i have plenty of like rod space for it okay the last place i went i honestly hit the jackpot in my opinion this place like i said felt more like a thrift store at home there was baskets there was lots of clothes there was lots of blankets lots of kitchen stuff so the first thing i got is this lampshade it's just like a very minimal canvas lampshade and i have a lamp let me grab the lamp and see if this will work. So if you've really been around for a long time, you will remember this lamp that I thrifted in Tucson a couple months ago. Well, no, no, years ago, honestly. And I have not been able to find a lampshade that I think like matches the silhouette. And I think that this is it. What do we think? I mean, it kind of, I feel like when it has the like hardware, it would sit up taller like this. I feel like that looks like the best option that I have found, but the lampshade, oh, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> the lampshade is just like a really nice neutral color and it doesn't have like any of the hardware. So I'm gonna have to figure out like lamp stuff to do that. Um, but yeah, so this lamp needs to be rewired. Total, it would have been $15 if this all works out. Um, well, and also like the supplies to do the, do the thing that this sits on top of and then the rewiring so maybe it'll be like thirty dollars at the end of it but i mean look how beautiful i have not been able to use it yet and i'm so sad about it but finally i found a lampshade that might work and then possibly the greatest thing that i have ever thrifted like ever and i'm being so serious when i say this i've always dreamt about finding something like this and i never have and then i spotted it and i was like why has no one purchased this like i was honestly so confused but yeah here's this beautiful like oh my god i can't even like look at it in the viewfinder it is so beautiful so it's a it's a painting and it is the actual painting it's the original painting i can see like the brush strokes and everything and it doesn't look like a paint by numbers or anything like that like this literally just looks like someone was very talented and made a painting and then framed it so the frame is gorgeous I have not seen a frame quite like this. It is so pretty and it has like such beautiful details. Like this is like a canvasy material and this is a distressed gold. And then the actual painting itself is so beautiful because I was always afraid that I would find a, like a real painting in the thrift store, but I wouldn't like the art. And but I would feel obligated to buy it because I've always wanted to find like real art, real beautiful framed art at the thrift store. But this is so beautiful. It looks like Missouri as well, which makes it even more special. So yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I sat it right here just a second ago and I like the way that that looks like, cause obviously I have this gold frame mirror and maybe if I got like other art that has like a similar gold frame thing, I could do like a mini gallery wall above the piano here. I think that would look very classic. So um, I don't know, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking so far for decorating this room. I haven't really progressed a lot in how I wanna decorate this room. It's not my highest priority, so. <laughs> Basket wall, vintage frame wall, desk wall over here, there's a bed here, and I need a rug, so anyway. Lots of things, lots of things I'm thinking about. But anyway, so that is the thrift haul. I feel like this was an extremely good thrift haul for just like randomly wanting to go out to the thrift store. Um, I feel like that's like the best way to do it. Like you just go out, see what happens, and then you come back with like such good stuff. So definitely found a lot of fabric stuff and home decor stuff which i'm so thrilled about so thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed if you subscribe to this channel you should see all these items again and see how i style them around the house i am wanting to make more content surrounding home decor and all of those things it just takes me a little bit longer to create that kind of stuff because i just don't feel like i'm very good at home decor and I'm not very good at, well, I should say I'm not very good at executing home decor. You know what I mean? Like I have my ideas, 
but it's difficult for me to like make it happen. So I'm working on it and making videos actually does help motivate me. <laughs> if you're not already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an upload. I upload, I try at least once a week. So <laughs> fingers crossed I'm able to do that. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.